guys, my name is Rachel Beth. And this week I'm going to be showing you how to make this little t-shirt dress thing. So I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but I know it has been all over the internet recently. Just dresses worn over t-shirts, so I said I would try and make one. So I hope you enjoy. Bye! So for this video, you're going to need your fabric, so you're just going to make sure it scratches one way. And then you're going to take your measurements. You're going to measure across the widest part of your chest, the widest part of your hips, your neck down to the length you want, and then the neck down to the neckline. And then from the shoulders to where you want the dress to start and then your armhole. And you're also going to measure from your chest to your hips and your neck to your chest as well. So then you're going to draw down the length that you want from your neck to the length. And then you're going to square across the top a quarter of the chest measurement and a square across the bottom. And then you're going to want to go down from the neck to the chest measurement and you're going to want to square across a quarter of your chest measurement. And you're going to want to go down from there, from the chest to the hip measurement. And then you're going to square across a quarter of the hip measurement. And both of these you're going to want to add an inch or so, depending how loose you want to be. And then you can just join the chest measurement to the hip measurement, creating an A-line. And then you're going to square across the shoulders to the start of the dress measurement. And then you can just roughly draw in your neckline and armhole. And then once you've done that, you can cut out your pattern. So once your pattern's cut out, you can pin it down on the fabric on the fold. So the straight line is where it's going to be on fold. And then you can cut out. Now, I added seam allowance around the top part, which I shouldn't have done because I'm doing a bias binding. And then I also increased the A line on the skirt as well. And you're going to repeat this for the back panel as well. So once you have the two done, you're going to join them along the two sides so you can overlock them or just sew them whichever you prefer so once that's done with the leftover fabric you're going to cut out about a inch and a half strips for the bias binding that goes along the top and for the straps so you can cut out as many as you need and then with your iron you're going to fold either side to meet in the middle and iron that down and then once you have that done you can fold it in half again and iron down again so this is creating a little strip of bias binding and once you have that done, you can pin your dress to a mannequin and then you can start attaching it from the armhole. So you're going to want to start at the top of the corner on the front and then work your whole way along the back until you reach the other armhole at the front. And then you can sew all that in place with just a basic straight stitch. And once you have that sewn in place, you can start with the front bias binding. So you're going to want to get the middle of the bias binding and start in the middle part of the front. So you're gonna to wanna to leave enough to do these straps as well. So you can see here, you're gonna go over the corner of the other one, so you're hiding the raw edges. So when you're sewing this one down, you're gonna sew along the leftover pieces as well to make these straps. And once you have that done, on the front piece where the V is, you're going to sew a little triangle starting from the top as the thick part. And this is gonna create just a nice little detailing on the front so it's not curved. And when that's done, you can place the straps on the back where you want them, depending on how low you want it to hang, and then just sew them in place with a little straight stitch. And at this point, you can hem your dress. I didn't hem mine because my fabric already had a little bit of hem on it already. So that would be your dress finished then. So it's a super easy and cute little dress, and you don't have to wear it with the t-shirt either. You can wear it on its own. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you do give it a go, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter so I can see. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!